you, one of Green Bay's homeless shelters could soon have to pay up. The city has issued a citation to St. John the Evangelist Homeless Shelter for allegedly allowing more people to stay overnight than the shelter's permit allows. It's a situation that has been brewing for weeks, and now the shelter faces a fine of $500 a day. Fox 11's Eric Peterson's on the story, live in downtown Green Bay this evening. Eric has the latest. Good evening, Tom. On a typical winter's night, 60, 70, maybe even 80 people will head to this shelter looking for a warm place to stay. But under a permit issued by the city, it's a maximum of 64 that are allowed. Now, those who run the shelter say they know they're overloaded, but the city is issuing the citations anyway. Now, the mayor's office released a statement late this afternoon. It says in part, quote, the city attorney's office has assured me that the citation will be handled accordingly and the court process will focus on compliance and not monetary punishment. Tonight, we bring you balanced coverage. The assistant city attorney for Green Bay filed the paperwork Thursday. In it, the city claims the shelter has been overbooked starting December 21st and continuously thereafter. According to the assistant city attorney, James Mueller, that is a violation of the shelter's conditional use permit. And the summons comes with a price. The shelter faces fines of up to $500 a day. Court costs would make the daily total a maximum of 681 As of Friday, that adds up to $5,448. The Catholic Diocese of Green Bay oversees the operations at the shelter. Spokesperson Justine Lodel called the situation sensitive and would only issue a statement saying, quote, St. John the Evangelist Homeless Shelter is working with the city of Green Bay in a good faith effort to address the issue of homelessness. Shelter officials say they're taking steps to reduce overcrowding. The spokesperson did confirm the shelter has a short-term agreement with another shelter in the city to take in about 21 people a night on an emergency basis. Meanwhile, this shelter is still open for business. Now the battle over the shelter now heads to the courtroom. Shelter officials are scheduled for an initial appearance in Green Bay Municipal Court. That hearing is on January 18th. Reporting live in downtown Green Bay, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News.